Hey JC, how was school? Why do we always get homework, Dad? Today the history teacher asked us to draw a soldier belonging to the Delhi Sultanate. So you have to draw a picture of the soldier. That should be fun. But I don't know what a soldier would wear in the 14th century. You can always consult your textbook and the internet for help. But what if that isn't enough? <laughs> don't worry. You always have your imagination. Dad is right. Even if I don't have enough details on the soldier, I can still draw him using my imagination. Oh, my soldier looks pretty awesome. Maybe I should get into animation. Speaking of animation, greetings, noble warrior. Greetings from the Delhi Sultanate. I am Arhan. I am eager to know about the Delhi Empire. Could you tell me something about it? I am a soldier. I will only be able to tell you about military conquest and expansion of the Sultanate. Sounds cool. Until the early 13th century, the Delhi Sultanate only had control over garrison towns. What are garrison towns? They are fortified towns occupied by soldiers. Wow! So the Delhi Sultans had full control of garrison towns, huh? Actually, no. The problem was that the Sultans were not able to control the hinterlands of garrison towns. Hinterlands? Yes. They are lands next to a city or port that supply it with goods and services. So if the Sultans controlled hinterlands, they would have access to a lot of goods. Correct. But since they did not control hinterlands, the Sultans had to depend on trade, tribute and even plunder for supply of goods. What was stopping the Sultans from expanding their control? Communication between Delhi and garrison towns in far off places like Bengal was very difficult. Bad weather and war would snap communication routes. There were other problems like Mongol invasions. The Mongols attempted to invade India frequently. The Sultanate had no option but to counter these attacks. I see. All of this made expansion of the Delhi Sultanate difficult. You look tired, Arhan. Why don't you have a seat? After all, you aren't working right now. That is very kind of you. Thank you. I have been working very hard. So when did the Sultanate finally manage to expand its empire? The empire was expanded during the reigns of Giyasuddin Balban, Alauddin Khalji and Muhammad Tughlaq. How did they manage to expand the empire? Expansion occurred both internally and externally. Internally? Externally? Don't worry. I will explain them to you one by one. In order to expand the empire internally, the Sultans gained control of the hinterlands. Forest lands around the Ganga Yamuna belt were cleared and hunter-gatherers were removed from there. Removed? Yes. But the lands were given to peasants so that cultivation could be carried out. This would help promote regional trade. So the Sultans were trying to make their towns prosperous? That's right. The Sultans also built new towns and fortresses and ensured that trade routes were well protected. Now, let me tell you how the empire expanded externally. For the external expansion, military expeditions were carried out in South India. Were these carried out by the Sultans you mentioned earlier? The military expeditions began with Alauddin Khalji and ended with Muhammad Tughlaq. Sultanate armies captured elephants, horses, slaves and collected precious metals from the cities that they seized. So in this way the Sultanate was successful in expanding the empire externally? Yes, the Delhi Sultanate which was so small became a very powerful empire by the 14th century. What's that sound all about? It's the church bell ringing. It says it's 6 p.m. now. 6 p.m.? It means sunset. 
I must leave for my namaz at the masjid now. Namaz? Namaz is the prayer that Muslims recite together in the masjid. What's a masjid? You have heard of a mosque, haven't you? A mosque is called a masjid in Arabic. You had mosque in the 14th century? During the expansion of the Delhi Sultanate, several mosques were built by the rulers. How would that help the Sultanate? The Sultans wanted to show that they were protectors of Islam. That is why they built so many mosques. Was there any other reason for the prevalence of mosques? Mosques also created the feeling of a community among followers of Islam who shared the same beliefs and code of conduct. I don't understand. You see, Muslims came from a variety of backgrounds and the Sultans believed that mosques would create a feeling of unity. I see. Are there any famous mosques? Of course. There are the Quwwat ul Islam Mosque, the Motki Masjid, and the Begumpuri Mosque, to name a few. I better leave now. Otherwise, I will be late. All right. It was great meeting you, Arhan. Did you finish your drawing for history, JC? Yeah, Dad. Then what are you drawing now? I'm not drawing, Dad. I'm making battle plans. Battle plans? For what? To expand my empire. And I'm gonna start by taking over Jadeep's room.